33 million gods and goddesses. God is one in being and three in person. Now one of those commandments, we're not going to go over all of them right now, is indeed to believe in one God and not to believe in multiple gods. Well, if you gods. ask the question, who created God? Well, who created the God that created the God that created the universe? And if you go on forever, you run into what you call the problem of the infinite regress. Meaning, let me give you a simple example. Imagine there's this table here, right? We're sitting on the table. Now, imagine you wanted to lift the table, right? But for you to lift the table, you need another person to help you, right? So you ask me, you say, Imran, can you please help me lift the table, right? And I say, well, I'd love to help you, Chris, but I've got a bit of a back problem going on, so I can't lift the table, but let me ask the guy behind me. So imagine there's loads of people standing there. I ask the guy behind me, can you help Chris lift the table? And he says, I would love to help Chris lift the table, but I need to ask the guy behind me, right? So imagine this goes on forever. Would the table ever, ever be lifted from that perspective? Yeah. No, so the event of the table being lifted off the ground will not take place, right? In a very similar way, if you were to say that there was a creator that was created by another creator, that was created by another creator, that was created by another creator, and you went on forever, the event of the universe coming into existence would never take place. So there has to be that first cause, as we say. And that first cause is who we refer to as God, as Allah, who is eternal, who has no beginning, who has no end. Why can't there be many gods? If there would have been many gods, surely these gods would have fought among themselves. And we find this in the mythology of some of the religions. One god fighting with the other god. One god helping the other god to fight the third god. Can you believe in such a god who can be defeated, who can be killed? And some people say that why can't there be different god? One god for sun, one god for cloud, one god for wind. Now imagine if there was one god for each, each one having power over his own little thing. It's logical to have one God who has power of all things rather than each different, different God fighting among themselves. It's illogical. That's the reason the Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 22, that if there would have been gods besides Allah, surely there would have been confusion in the universe. It's mentioned for a moment in chapter number 23, verse number 91, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not beget a son. If there were God besides Allah, each God would have taken things would have created and hold it on the other. Surely there would have been infighting amongst them. That's what we see in the mythology. The best and the most logical is only one God. One and only, all-powerful, having power over all things.